The Cedarburg Cultural Center would like to uh, welcome artist Michael Santini for the month of December as the artist in residence. Welcome, Michael. Thanks for being here. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, also to the Cultural Center for giving me an opportunity to uh, share my art with the community. Well, thank you. Can you start by telling us a little bit about what media you work in and what the focus of your current work is? Yeah, actually, uh, I work in three different mediums. I draw, um, do oil painting, and also my composite sculptures. Well, wonderful. So who or what are your inspirations, and what is it about art that excites you? Um, inspirations, I, I would assume, I think my, uh, the artist uh, inspirations have been uh, Harmonious Bosch and Bruegel and Dali, and uh, other inspirations are from uh, the Bible and just from everyday life. Mm. What made you want to be an artist in the first place? Why do you do what you do today? Well, uh, actually, uh, I started out in college in, as to be a phys ed teacher, but then I moved in my sophomore year into art, and uh, I stayed with it. Uh, I've always enjoyed art uh, from uh, grade school up, uh, and, but uh, didn't decide to pursue it until my sophomore year. Hmm. So, how do you view your role in society today as an artist? Um, I guess my role in society would be to try and bring joy uh, to people that uh, collect my art, uh, to express uh, myself and how I feel about uh, different situations, different things. Um, well, I'm not a hoarder or a singer, but uh, I have this venue to express myself. Wonderful. What have been some of your obstacles along the way? Um, some of the obstacles have been uh, because of some of the content of my work have been some challenges into getting into certain galleries and uh, uh, the, way, uh, uh, the way that I express myself through my paintings uh, appeals to just, you know, to a certain clientele. Mm. And what have been some of your greatest successes? Um, well, I would think that I've been really blessed over the years and I've been publi published in uh, um, a few books. Uh, I illustrated uh, uh, The Golden Years, which is a uh, child's book that was translated from Spanish to English for the uh, uh, Cuban immigrants in um, Florida, and they dealt with the uh, stories and the poems of Jose Marti. And I also did the frontispiece for The House of Many Faces by an author in Tucson. Uh, I've, been, I've been blessed to be able to be exhibit in Paris, France, and Switzerland. And, well, wonderful. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> How do you continue to challenge yourself today as an artist? Um, I try to move into a different situation, a different venue with my art. Uh, I've uh, been painting and drawing all my life, but then I, just a few years ago, I started to do the sculpting. And my next uh, adventure will be getting into doing some lithographs. Well, wonderful. So what are your dreams and plans for the future as it, cre as it relates to your career in the arts? Um, I think uh, just to continue on this journey, I, you know, um, one of the, one of the things I would like to do before uh, I retire <laughs> would be to illust illustrate the Book of Revelations. Wonderful! Wow. Well, Michael, it's been great having you here for this month. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Jeanette. Appreciate it.